Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here and welcome to The Supper, a game about serving a very special meal to some very special people. Miss Appleton, wake up. Are we double peg legged? I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. Things were so much easier before, weren't they? But there's no time to rest. Look at the time. Customers will be arriving any minute now. And we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? Can I... special sauce? Recipes list. Pigeon a la sauce. Wild Pigeon, cover special sauce. Red Swordfish, Blue Swordfish, Chili Pepper, cover special sauce. Hand and Tongue Stew, plump human hand, add one slimy tongue, cover with special sauce. I see a certain little trend here. Well, I can't just simply cut the swordfish tail, I have to get a tool here. And we got a little bit of ember. Put put that into there. <laughs> so light the candles. I know it's dark in here. Some light will make the place much more inviting. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. Empty water jug. Go to the kitchen. Doorbell. No time for a walk now, Miss Appleton. I smell fresh clients coming this way. Fresh clients. Why don't you go make sure special sauce is ready for them? Looks pretty, uh, special and ready to me. Mmm, smells delicious. Do you hear it, Miss Appleton? Horses, growling stomachs. Here they come. Do you think it could be them? Hey, look, cust customers. Look, the chest. These are the men we've been looking for. Let's find them a place to sit quickly. So, what would the gentleman like to start with? Mind controlling fungus? <gasps> Deadly shark and old man. Hey, free loot. Be patient, Miss Appleton. Be patient. You want a pigeon on the sauce rose? It's our specialty. My controlling fungus wants spicy red swordfish, personal favorite, a mouth warning delicacy that's healthy as well. Lots of omega-free. 
Ooh. Deadly oh. shark. Ooh. Uh. Oh, a human hand. Oh. Did you hear that, Miss Appleton? Oh. Hand and tongue stew. And you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers. I was right, you were wrong. So that's a spicy red swordfish for the mind controlling beast on the left. A pigeon a la sauce rose for the sick old man on the right. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. Of course, all served with our delicious secret sauce. Come on, Miss Appleton. Go and fetch the ingredients. And don't forget to check out the recipes list on the kitchen's wall if you have any problem remembering them. Let's check it out one more time. So what are we serving? A cast of beetle juice? Chili pepper, we need a pigeon. Swordfish tail is here. Human hand and a slimy tongue. Some salt wax. Get some boiling wax. So let's go outside and get some ingredients. The Joyous Lobster Inn. Best place in town for a snack. Lover. I feel like we can get the hand in the jail door. Come here, Pigeon. Come down and become food. I hope you're not thinking I'm climbing up there. I feel like... We're in like a Lovecraftian town where worshippers would take on. Fisherman. Oh, it used to be a fisherman. Poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. Looks like he headed out of here. Oh, sweeter. Uh. Wet boot. Rope. What would I begin to do with a boot? A boot, a water jug, and I got some boiling wax. Hey, you want a boot? Yay. That's the main ingredient for our Pigeon Suprema La Sauce Rosé. Let's finish with this. Dish. Dish. Maybe the hand's gonna come from the old man. Hmm. That was easy. Well done, Miss Appleton. The pigeon a la sauce rosé is ready to be served. It's just wild pigeon cover of sauce. Literally. Bon appetit, monsieur. Sweet. You can tell by his pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. Don't worry, they used to pass out on taverns. They won't notice he stopped breathing. Then we should be able to get the swordfish now. Are you kidding me, Miss Appleton? You'll never cut anything of those rusty scissors. Okay. I see our we have limits here. We can't we can't use Rusty's scissors to cut this good meat. He's not hungry. What can we do with these rusty scissors? It's 
the letter doesn't move. Is he all doing? No. If we can cut the rope. There we go. Trap door, captain's cabin. Uh, I feel like I saw something I wasn't meant to see. Full water jug. Seedling. Ah, oh, it's for the pepper. I think I know this guy. Let me taste his blood. Sure. Oh, yes, indeed. Captain Clint McMurray, my sister's second husband. Looks like you won't be beating anyone up ever again, Clint. That was a little specific voice in my head. It was very, very specific. What's this nonsense, Miss Appleton? That's not what the gentleman ordered. Focus, Miss Appleton, focus. Good for all. Oh, we gotta mix it. Perfect, those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. Nice. Well done, Miss Appleton. Our spicy red swordfish is ready to be served. Here's your spicy red swordfish. Brain octopus. Bon appetit. God, it was even too spicy for a mind flayer. Oh yes, a satisfied stomach. The delicacy in this, a pleasure worth dying for. <laughs> Do you get it, Miss Appleton? It's funny. Come on. Laugh. Ha! 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 Hey, free tongue. Be handy. Wax hand. We definitely like kind of fake this out. <laughs> Perfect, those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. Um, okay. What in the wax melt? Well done, Miss Appleton. The hand and tongue stew is ready to be served. Bon appetit, my cartilaginous friend. Ah, another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy can help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints. Do they? Great, so now let's clean all this mess before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. He's not hungry. Chest. Be patient, Miss Appleton, be patient. Yeah, it's kind of red out here now.
Uh, and there's giant evil vines sinking this ship. Great idea, Miss Appleton. This will be useful if they carry the bodies out. Dum 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 dum. Ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Yo ho ho and above. Oh, there you are. Now we finally know what that lever is for. We've never used a grinder of such large specimens. Let's hope those bones don't get stuck. Oh, there's a special sauce. Well done, Miss Appleton. You performed diligently. Uh, thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all you've done for me. At last, I'm allowed to rest. And so are you. I have so many good memories of you and I working side by side. You are my dearest friend. Those beasts dragged me out from our kitchen, I knew I was done for. I swear I didn't steal that gold nugget from them. I won it fair and square. While I was anguishing, Suffolk King sent this chest they put me in. There was only one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until you found me, dead or alive. I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. Please find a quiet place to bury my bones. Near the old well where I like to spend time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. And goodbye. So I see it's a sweet story. It's not about just murder and cannibalism. It's like a, it's a, a story about appreciation. The supper. So that's it for the supper. So a little twist to it, you know. They just feel like, oh, you're not just a murderer. You're, uh, you're getting revenge, technically. Although I think it was implied there might have been some murders before that. I don't know if they were all pirates or something. Because, uh, you know, there was a lot of sauce there, and you needed a lot of blood for that sauce. Yeah, it seemed like a lot of time had passed, to the point where, where Miss Appleton had become literally a uh, bag of bones. So, it looked like this had been going on for a long time. This little place had become like some kind of symbol of wrath against these pirates that murdered them all. So, not just like I said, it's not like a little... Not just like, oh, it's like all grim and everything. It's got a nice little... Not like a love story, it's more like a, a friendship kind of love, apparently. So... Simple little tale about karma. That's all it is, that's all it needs to be. Anyway, so thank you all for watching me play The Supper. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.